we're back. Welcome back to more two gay guys play Dream Daddy. I so, coughed up half a lung in most of my intestines. Well, perfect. So then uh, you should be feeling so much better without all of that meaningless crap in your body. Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> I brush my teeth and throw in some pajamas. I climb into bed, set my alarm, and close my eyes. See, I always took our dad as a sleeping in the buff kind of guy, but whatever. <clears throat> he has a daughter. It's true, true. Okay, sleep. I am wide awake. I can't help but think about the last time I went fishing, hoping that there's something I can glean from it to give me an edge over Brian. I was about nine years old. My dad woke me up one morning and told me to get dressed and meet him downstairs. It was still dark out. I had no idea what was going on, but before I knew it, we were both alone on a freezing cold lake. Your dad was there to kill you, <laughs> yeah. is what I'm hearing. I had to sit there for hours while it got hot and muggy, the air thick with bugs. I picked up mosquito bites while my dad sat in stony silence, fishing pole in one hand and a beer in the other. We didn't catch anything. On the long drive home, my father brought me bought me a pack of cigarettes and didn't say a thing. What the you hell? You were nine? That didn't help, and I don't think I have some repressed sadness about my father. I'll deal with it. Later. <laughs> Sitting on a boat in the middle of a body of water. I can't see any land, but I know it's a lake. The water is placid is yeah, placid and still. I'm holding a fishing pole. I assume this is a dream. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it feels like my life depends on catching fish right now. I can cast my lure into the water and wait and wait and wait. My whole being is filled with hopelessness as I watch the line disappear into the depths below. You used the wrong lure. I look up and see my father, just as he looked that one cold morning, disapproving. <laughs> I'm panicking now. I pull the lure on, uh, pull the lure up, and try to grab a different one. All the lures on my tackle box are the exact same. I look to my father for guidance, but he's gone. Try, try casting again, and I can't hold my footing. My boat trips over, and I fall into the water. Clinging further and further, I see the multitudes of fish that have been lying just below the surface, all swimming around me as if to taunt me. My uh, my dad was like, we could go hunting at like four in the morning and go after deer. I was like, you can. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, well, if I if I want to go hunting, I want to bring you with me. And I'm like, and I'm like nine. Mm. I'm like, no. I went fishing occasionally with grandparents, and that was an experience that I enjoyed. But I don't like I don't like putting worms on shit. There's sharp hooks everywhere that mm. are terrifying. And it's even more terrifying when I was, I want to say, eight or ten. Mm -hmm. um, I was hanging out at a, like, my family was visiting another family who was camping. They had, like, a cabin thing, and we had our uh, camper hooked to the back of our truck that we drove there. Um, and then uh, in the morning, I uh, woke up, and I was like, hey, where are my friends? And they're like, so here's what happened. They went fishing with their dad earlier this morning, and the littlest brother tried to cast his hook uh but uh, the hook went into his older brother's eye. So they are in the hospital right now. Um, he has, like, now he, he has, like, uh, two pupils in one eye. Um, and uh, That's terrifying. Yeah. And, uh, you know, damaged vision, so he has to wear contact in that eye. But I'm just like, oh, that's horrifying. So now there's a whole new danger added to fishing for me. One of my uh, my dad's friends had a small lake behind his house. Because what happens when you're rich and white and work for the government? Of course. Uh, that he seeded with uh, bass every year, mm. so he could just fish for bass behind his house. Just on a, he didn't need a boat or anything. Yeah. Just off his deck. Huh. And just I did that a couple times, and that was fun. But, yeah. Like I don't I I don't believe in getting up before the sun comes up. Here's what you can do to have a similar experience: get a boat, mm -hmm. get some beer. Get some friends and just go sit out on a lake. No, you don't need to fish. You can just hang out. You don't have and to drink a beer. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to accomplish shit. Just hang out. Uh, anyway, and just open a cooler, and then there are oysters there. <laughs> <Yeah>. You're done. <laughs> Finished. Um, one fish swims up to me. He has Brian's eyes. You gotta use a natural buoyancy lure if you're trying to catch trout, buddy. Ah, I jumped awake to the sound of my alarm. It's fishing day. That was some Undertale shit right there. <laughs> yeah, that would explain the weird dream. I groggily slip on clothes and get ready. You know what's nice? It's been almost two years, and finally we no longer get comments on our Undertale videos. Like, when are you going to come back and get the true ending? Like, sorry, we did it on our own, and it, we didn't record it. Too bad. Yeah, because I was like, I want to see it. People keep telling me I need to. We should uh, totally pimp it when it comes out on PS4. Be like, check it out. We already played it. Come see what the fuss is about. It already came out on. What? It's already out? I yeah. thought it's still coming out this month. I think it came out like last week. Whatever. All right. I'll pimp it anyway. Okay. I spot Amanda's door. <coughs> I spot Amanda's door half open and see her still curled up in a mountain of blankets. Walking over to her bed, I give her a tiny kiss on the forehead. Fishing day, kiddo. You ready? Oh, no. <laughs> well, you gotta get up. I can't do this without you. Also, stop sleeping in your clothes. <laughs> Amanda pulls her comforter over her head. Never. <laughs> Amanda? I'll get out in a minute. Alright, Brian should be here in 20, so you better not just go back to sleep. 
Mana sticks her hand through the blankets to wave me away. I leave her room and make myself some coffee and another cup with lots of cream and sugar for Amanda whenever she gets up. Amanda eventually wanders in and chugs her coffee while I do word jumbles. I hear the doorbell. That must be Brian. Dad time. How's your dick feel? <laughs> Whoa. I mean, fishing pole. <laughs> Still rubbing our eyes, we walk outside to see Brian. He's decked out in fishing gear. Daisy's falling asleep next to him. Uh, he looks like he's wearing the same clothes he's worn like the last eight days. But, yeah, you know, that whatever. sounds like a dad. Always dressed. <laughs> like, my dad always wears uh, cargo shorts and Darth Vader shirts. Oh. He has like ten Darth Vader shirts. Well, at least he's got a theme. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm, buddy. You ready to fish? I was born ready. My eyes narrow in on Brian. It's a good day to die. <laughs> Hop in, guys. Let's get this fishing party started. I walk over to the driver's side door and open it. Woof, woof. Brian's dog immediately hops into the driver's seat, wagging his tail furiously. <laughs> Can I see your license, sir? <laughs> Maxwell, let Beardrum sit. That's gotta be weird for you when you're playing your guy. Maxwell, let Maxwell sit. That's gonna be real fun for me. Maxwell obediently, obediently hops into the car to cuddle up with Daisy. Amanda settles in next to Maxwell and Daisy and immediately falls asleep. You ready for an adventure? I'm ready for glory. <laughs> Holes. <laughs> I struggle to stay awake. That's we... a whole different thing. <laughs> That's date three. I struggle <laughs> to stay awake as we drive to the outskirts of town. I don't want to look in your eyes. Get behind this board. Uh, I'd say that's a that's like Brian's Clive Bigsby move, <laughs> is you go to a glory hole and pretend to be strangers. There we go. Um, country music plays quietly from the radio as I watch trees pass by. So, where exactly are we headed? About an hour north of here, a little spot I've been going to since I was a kid. My dad used to take me there all the time. I don't think anybody else knows about it. You ever go fishing with your dad? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> a thousand yard stare out the window and I'm it's silent for a half A single an hour. dad tear. <laughs> like a... A single uh, Denzel Washington tear <laughs> comes down. He's like, Beardrum, are you okay? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Martha! <laughs> <laughs> Swear to me, I brought everything we need so we can catch some trout, have a nice little fire, and enjoy the nature. My uh, my fishing pole is in the shop, getting it tuned up. Do you maybe have an extra I could borrow? <laughs> but of course, it's probably not as nice as it sounds like yours is, though. Right. <laughs> My web of lies. <laughs> I'm digging a hole here. I stare out of the forest, lining the highway. The sun is just barely over the horizon, scattering dusky pink light through the trees. For a second, I spot a deer grazing on the side of the road before it leaps back into the brush. And I have to take a photo of it for my, for my journal so I can submit it to uh, the Everyday Heroes Contest. <laughs> After a nice... Oh, God. What if, like, Amanda goes to that school? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to say, this Hugo's is a prequel, another teacher. So life is yeah. strange. Hugo's just another teacher at that at that weird academy. Yeah. Um, after a nice quiet drive, Brian eventually tells me to pull off the highway and onto a dirt road. Car bumps along until we reach a clearing that opens up to a magnificent lake. Well, here we are. I step out of the car and help Brian unload our gear as Maxwell runs around us, barking. The kids wake up and wander to the shore where Daisy tries to teach Amanda how to skip rocks. Brian and I carry the tackle boxes and cooler down to the edge of the lake where he has a canoe waiting. Oh god. Ah, great. Still in one piece. Hold on. Help me out with Maxwell. I help Brian place a tiny dog sized light vest on the Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Brian hands me a lime green light vest. If I fall in, you'll save me. I can swim, thanks. I, the first one. Yeah. If I fall in, I'm counting on you to rescue me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Suit yourself. Brian turns to Amanda and Daisy, who are still skipping rocks. You kids want to fit? God, Amanda looks ready to murder somebody. I mean, I would be too if someone dragged me out of bed at four in the morning. I'm good just throwing rocks into the water. Amanda hurls a rock into the pond with gusto. Yeah, take that, water. <laughs> Amanda, you're supposed to be skipping them. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Daisy, don't you want to fish? Mm -hmm. I think I'll think catching fish is kind of inhumane. We're going to go explore in the woods and look at bugs and stuff. All right, be safe. Don't go too far. <laughs> Brian puts his life vest around himself and we throw all of our equipment in the I like canoe. That, I like that Brian is just like, Amanda's 18, my kid's a genius. Yeah. They'll, they'll be fine. Who yeah. cares? Like, sorry, uh, go ahead. Maxwell happily jumps in and takes his place looking out over the front of the boat. <laughs> This is adorable. I'm king of the world! <laughs> I get into the... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I get into the canoe as Brian shoves off. We paddle together to get ourselves to the middle of the lake. Oh, just the two of us and your dog. <laughs> just how I like my sex. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not that the dog's involved, but he's there to be like... He's there just watching. Moral support. <laughs> Give me tips. Uh-uh. 
Most freshwater fish usually feed at dusk and dawn, which is why I had to get you up so early. I hope the dog doesn't want to do it human style with another dog later. <laughs> That's not something I needed to see. <laughs> now my brain is just picturing dogs doing it missionary style. And it's so weird. There, uh, There's a very bad advertisement uh-huh. from... Uh, from like early 2000s I think mm. that was in magazines oh no and it's just uh, uh, it covers up all it's for like a Febreze sort of thing oh of course and it's just like cover up all sorts of scandalous behavior and it's just like a night vision shot of a couch uh-huh. of a like cat and dog doing it like uh-huh. missionary position oh god and it's just like who approved this <laughs> yeah. who got fired after this and, it, and what magazine was just like yeah, this is all right to print. That was like People. Like, that was a regular-ass magazine. What? Yeah. Okay. My mom reads all of the, like, celebrity rants. So, <laughs> it was one of those. I'm just, I don't pretend I'd have never read them. I need to look this up. Just, uh, not for sex reasons, <laughs> but just to, just to be flabbergasted. Yeah, it's amazing. I'll oh, show you between episodes. Thank you. Um, yeah, I know. That's pretty common fisherman knowledge, after all. Fisherman knowledge that I am knowledgeable about. Still gambling, man? Okay, well, before we start gambling, we'll do more next time on Two Gay Guys Play. All right. All right.